Chapter 18 Axe, what are you doing? Cassie demanded. Are you nuts? Marco cried. What's your problem, Axe? My voice asked the Andalite. But he did not waver, and he did not pull that deadly tail away from my throat. Prince Jake has been taken. He is a controller. What? Rachel snapped. Back off, Axe. You're crazy. His head was in the yerk pool long enough for a yerk to enter his head, Axe said. And just now, you all saw his expression when he was surprised to see me. I am not human. I do not know every human expression. So tell me, what was that look? This is crazy. The Yerk tried a disbelieving laugh. <laughs> Marco, Cassie, would you please tell this nut that I am okay? But I saw doubt in Marco's shrewd eyes. Yeah, I'm sure you're fine, Jake. But Cassie, didn't you say Jake seemed zoned out? Like he wouldn't answer for a few minutes? Even though he was awake? Cassie nodded her head. She too was looking suspicious. Yeah, he seemed normal and all, but he wouldn't answer me. She shrugged. Sorry, Jake, but you did act funny. It takes a while for the Yerk to take full control of the host brain, Axe said. During that time, the host will be passive. He may even seem to be in a coma. I swear I could have kissed the Andalite right then. I wanted to yell, yes, yes. You guys can't possibly believe this, my mouth said. I mean, okay, we have to be careful, but it's me. It's me, Jake, all right? Being Jake and all, you'll understand if we take a minute to think this through, Rachel said. Axe, how are we supposed to know one way or the other? Tobias answered for him. The Yerk needs to return to the Yerk pool and absorb Candrona rays every three days. If we hold him for three days, we'll know. Now I felt just the slightest edge of fear from the Yerk. He was measuring the odds, trying to decide what to do. But with Axe's tail blade at my throat, the Yerk kept my body very still. We can't hold him for three days, Cassie argued. His family would go ballistic. They'll call the cops. Chapman will realize he's not in school. The bad guys will put two and two together. Look, hello, hello. It's me, Jake, remember? I am not a controller. Marco shook his head. If he is, if there's a yerk in his head, then he knows all our secrets. If he gets in touch with any other yerk, we are all dead. We can't take that chance. Maybe Axe is right. Maybe not. But we can't guess wrong. I agree, Tobias said. If he's still Jake, he'll understand. If he's a controller, well, I guess we'll find out, won't we? Rachel? Marco asked. Rachel met my gaze. Sorry, Jake, but we have to play it safe. You know that. Look, I argued. It's like Cassie said. My folks will go nuts. They'll call the police. They'll go on TV asking if anyone has seen me. They'll be putting up posters all over town. I mean, no offense, Tobias, but I have an actual family, not some messed up aunts and uncles who didn't want to be taking care of me in the first place. People will notice if I disappear. I turned to Cassie. Cassie, come on. Explain it to them. Come on, Cassie, I thought. Come on. Be hard for once. Don't feel for me. Don't be sweet. Just this once. There is a way, Cassie said hesitantly. To be sure whether he's a controller, Rachel asked. No, Cassie said. Her voice grew stronger. A way to keep his family and the school from knowing he's gone. Axe could do it. Axe could morph into Jake. Cassie. The amazing Cassie. She had hit the one possible solution. 
I wished so badly I could tell her right then what an amazingly smart, incredibly cool person she was. The yerk in my head was not happy. What's the matter, Temrash 114 of the Sultniar pool? I asked. Not feeling quite so cocky anymore? Axe reached one of his delicate, many-fingered hands toward my face. He pressed his fingers against my forehead. I will acquire your DNA now, Prince Jake, he said. The Yurk could not stand it anymore. The Andalite's touch made him so furious, it was like a physical illness. Get your hands off me, Andalite filth, he screamed aloud in a distorted version of my voice. But Axe's tail was still within an inch of my jugular, and the Yurk knew very well how deadly fast that tail was. He did not move. The others all stared, wide-eyed. Well, Rachel said, at least now we're sure. No, you're wrong, my voice pleaded. He's just making me mad. Hey, it's been a stressful morning, all right? Give me a break. Andalite filth? Tobias repeated the Yerk's words. We're supposed to believe Jake would say that? Jake? Because he was stressed out? Nah, not in this universe. Jake? Cassie said, looking into my eyes. I know you're still in there. I know you're probably afraid. But we will get that thing out of your head, Jake. We will. <laughs>